Next up is our DIN connector. This disc DIN connector here actually is uh, goes up to our control e-stop line and also for our touch probe. With the C11GS common was 5 volts. We had it jumpered so that our common terminals would put out 5 volts but with the C25XP it doesn't work like that. So now our common will go to our 5 volt source which is our terminal block here for our C25 and then this will go uh, it goes out to our DIN connector once our touch probe is made and then this will go uh, to our input on port 2 for the touch probe. So our first connection here is our probe 5 volts and it's going to go to our uh, C25 here, our 5 volts and it looks like I've ran out of terminals once again so I'm going to have to try to squeeze in another terminal block here. Alright, so I'm going to bring the power out to my probe. I'm going to bring it, I think I'll run this between the two here like so. So I'll bring this in here and I'm going to bring it over to my C25 5 volt terminal here. You may have noticed I added another one there. Hopefully I won't have to add any more. Okay, and then we have our e-stop. White wire here is e-stop. I've got it labeled e-stop, so that's going to go right here to the e-stop terminal. That's on port 1. And then our next wire here is 10. And that's going to go to the other side of the e-stop here on number 10. 10 is typically the input number most people use for their e-stop. So I guess Arturo just went ahead and made that so. This one is 10, the red one. Makes sense. Okay. There we go. And then next we have our input for our probe. Now originally I used pin 15 on the original wiring and I'm going to do the same uh, with the C25XP. Okay, so now that we've connected our probe input to port 15, we've also got to provide a common for this power that we're bringing into the board. Now, the C25, each port is isolated, so you could use port 1 if you had 24 volt or 12 volt uh, inputs, or port 2, or vice versa. However, all of my inputs are going to be 5 volts, so I can just jumper from COM2 here to COM1. COM2 here and COM2 here for port 2 are both internally electrically connected, so I'm just going to put this jumper wire here to make port 1 uh, connected as well. 
So here we have 15, 13, and this is our common. Not being straight over this makes it a little difficult to see. There we go. And then over here we can go to common. Six, seven, and common right here. Okay, and common here. Okay, so our this is our five volt common from port one, jump it over to port two, and then a port two, and it comes back and it lands on our uh, common terminal for our C25 five volt negative here or ground common for our 5 volt source all right so next I want to wire in our, our solid state relay I need to wire it in uh, to remember I'm keeping the solid state relay instead of using a relay over here so this is the uh, common side and it's going to go to out port 1 on port 1 and then we're going to be supplying it with 5 volts from the C25 source right here So that should activate our solid state relay and supply 110 volts out to our outlet here for our coolant. Just to recap, we've we sent 5 volts out to our DIN connector. It's going into, it'll go for our probe and then we've got our probe input here. We supplied our 5 volts from our C25 terminal strip here. That is this um, green wire here, labeled probe. And then the input here on COM1, I mean, the input here on import, input port 1. We also connected our common from port 1 to port 2 which goes back to our source ground here for our C25 XP or technically it's electrically the same as being right here. We just brought it all back to our terminal strip. We connected our e-stop and the return from the e-stop. And in the next video, we can start wiring up our spindle connections. So stay tuned for that video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, Click on the subscribe button down here below. When I post a new video, they'll send you a link, and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.